The aftermath shows an attack that was deliberate and sustained. With around a half dozen explosions, the Americans firing with drones clearly didn't want to miss their target. Iran's general, Qasem Soleimani. He'd reportedly just gotten into Iraq from Beirut and was leaving Baghdad airport when he was killed in a convoy of vehicles along with a top Iraqi militia leader. President Trump tonight. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel, but we caught him in the act and terminated him. The imminent attacks planned by Soleimani targeted U.S. diplomats, U.S. military personnel, and facilities that house Americans in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and the region of the Middle East, a senior State Department official told reporters today. Qasem Soleimani was no ordinary general. The U.S. officially classified him as a terrorist, but in Iran, he was a national hero. Specifically, Soleimani was in charge of spreading Iranian influence around the world, and he was extremely good at it. Smart, charismatic, ruthless, strategic, and bold, Soleimani knit together a loyal network of armed groups from Iraq to Syria, Lebanon to Afghanistan. Anytime Iran attacked oil tankers in the Persian Gulf and then denied it, or attacked oil facilities in Saudi Arabia and denied that too, U.S. officials saw Soleimani's handiwork. His power made Iranians proud. Today, Iranians in the thousands came out to show their love and their anger. Soleimani was arguably Iran's most popular leader. For years, Soleimani operated in the shadows, and he spilled a lot of American blood. He was the secret architect of a long campaign against U.S. troops in Iraq after the 2003 invasion, killing hundreds. Back then, his face was barely known. But over the last few years, Soleimani has gotten bolder, showing photographs of himself on battlefields around the Middle East, issuing statements. His pride and increasing profile may have made him easier to track down and kill. There was talk in Iran Soleimani might be a future president or perhaps even a supreme leader. Today, the man who has that role, Iran's top ayatollah, visited Soleimani's family and promised severe revenge. The most immediate concern is in Baghdad, where Shiite militia leaders loyal to Soleimani, the same militias that for days attacked the U.S. Embassy, will take to the streets tomorrow to mourn and show their rage. And Richard joins us now from Iraq, where our team is hearing late word of another airstrike. Richard, what do we know? An Iraqi security official told us that another convoy has been targeted by an American airstrike. This convoy carrying leaders from the Iraqi Shia militias, those same militias who are going to protest tomorrow, angry protests in Baghdad, not far from the U.S. Embassy. So this could escalate. It could lead to a cycle of violence. It just got more dangerous tonight. Richard Engel with that breaking news from Iraq. Thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.